We've now covered a variety of drawing related tasks and back in project 6 we looked at animation. So now I want to look at putting those two things together. First, let's build a custom shape we can use for an example. Here's the code for a trapezoid shape, which is a four sided shape with straight sides where one pair of opposite sides are parallel. Struct trapezoid, conform to shape. Var inset amount, CG float. Func path in rect, CG rect, returns path. Var path equals path. Path dot move to, CG point, x0, y, rect dot max y. Path dot add line to, CG point, x, inset amount, y, rect dot min y. Path dot add line to, CG point, x, rect dot max x, minus inset amount, y, rect dot min y. Path dot add line to, CG point, x, rect dot max x, y, rec dot max y. And finally, path dot add line to, cg point, x zero, y, rec dot max y. And return path. We can now use that inside a view, passing in some local state for its inset amount, so we can modify the value at runtime. At state, private var, inset amount, cg float, equals 50. Trapezoid, inset amount, inset amount, dot frame, width 200, height 100. On tap gesture, self dot inset amount equals cg float dot random in 10 through 90. Every time you tap the trapezoid, inset amount gets set to a new value, causing the shape to be redrawn. Now of course it'd be nice if we could animate the change in insets. Of course it would. Try changing the on tap gesture closure to this. With animation. Now run it again. And nothing has changed. We've asked for animation, but we aren't getting animation. What gives? When looking at animations previously, I asked you to add a call to print inside the body property, then said this. What you should see is that it prints out 2.0, 3.0, 4.0, and so on. At the same time, the button's scaling up or down smoothly. It doesn't just jump straight to scale 2, 3, and 4. What's actually happening here is that SwiftUI is examining the state of our view before the binding changes, examining the target state of our views after the binding changes, then applying an animation to get from point A to point B. So here in our case now, as soon as self.inset amount is set to a new random value, it will immediately jump to that value and pass it directly into trapezoid. It won't pass in lots of intermediate values as the animation happens. This is why our trapezoid jumps from inset to inset. It has no idea an animation's even happening. We can fix this in only four lines of code, one of which is just a closing brace. However, even though this code is simple, the way it works might bend your brain. First, the code. Add this new computed property to the trapezoid struct now. Var animatable data, CG float. Get inset amount. Set self dot inset amount equals new value. You can now run the app again and see our trapezoid changing shape with a smooth animation. What's happening here is quite complex behind the scenes. When we use with animation, SwiftUI immediately changes our state property to its new value. But behind the scenes, it's also keeping track of the changing value over time as part of the animation. As the animation progresses, SwiftUI will set the animatable data property of our shape to the latest value, and it's down to us to decide what that means. In our case, we assign it directly to inset amount, because that's the value we want to animate. Remember, SwiftUI evaluates our view state before an animation was applied, and then again after. It can see we originally had code that evaluated to trapezoid inset amount 50. But then after a random number was chosen, we ended up with, for example, trapezoid, inset amount, 62. So it would interpolate between 50 and 62 over the length of our animation, each time setting the animatable data property of our shape to be that latest interpolated value, 51, 52, 53, and so on, until 62 is reached. 